I'm not going to cry about this. I get it. <laughs> but I, no, it just, I know, it, just I, puts I know. That, it just puts a chip on our shoulder. It's yeah. all good. I hope you're watching this, Jets. Welcome to the Bar Down NHL Playoff Preview Show. Okay, guys, we are sitting in front of our tier list, which we are going to use to rank all 16 playoff teams, okay? It was a tight race to end the season, maybe one of the best regular seasons ever, but uh, we got there. And now it's time to rank. Also, guys, uh, in this episode, there's going to be a bunch of points where I say, and we're going to go to break, and then it'll just keep going. And that's because we put this on TV, too. So, Just want to say, Detroit Red Wings fans, <laughs> absolutely gutted for you. I know everyone's saying, well, they shouldn't have lost so many games in March and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, but, no, no, they, no, they no, probably but, shouldn't but, have. But. Oh, they shouldn't have, but like those... The, to win two games in overtime to lead up to your seasons on the line. To have torts? Absolutely yeah. sewer but, but But even like before torts were them, like, <laughs> I was like, like we, I was at a Jays game and everyone just had their phones on watching, like, okay, like Detroit's toast. 3.3 seconds left. And who else? David Perron. <laughs> Can't make it up. Guy's an absolute guy's so clutch. And. Man, too little, too late. It's too late. Because they are not getting ranked today. Yeah. But 16 other teams are. We're each going to take four teams. We've got five categories, six categories. Wow. The best, A, B, C, D, the worst. Uh, fellas, is there anything else? Like, I don't know. What Do you have uh, favorite playoff matchups going in? Is there one you're most excited to see? Anything like that? <laughs> I think I think Tampa versus Florida is going to be really really spicy, and I'm glad with how everything sort of fell in the Atlantic. That last second switch with I mean Leafs versus Boston is going to be great. Yeah, too. okay, sure, let's sure talk about the real that's one. That's a great answer too. <laughs> wow. But uh, but the Atlantic matchups in general, I think, are going to be amazing. Same as the Central. The Central has. Oh, uh, you're, you're buzzing over Hurricanes Islanders. Uh, no. Oh, Central, Central. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking Metro. My bad. My bad. <laughs> no, no worries. I don't know. We can discuss, but is it crazy to think that we were saying earlier, is Washington going to take a couple games off the Rangers? I don't know. No. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but we'll see. we also do have our first ever bar down playoff matchup. We've got the Jets and the Abs facing off. I'm against scared, each other. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy's gonna be loud. So yeah, I'm ready for that. Well, I'll just laugh. Like if the abs lose, I am never gonna hear the <laughs> end of it. What's the wager that you guys got on the line? There's got to be some sort of punishment for the loser. Someone's gonna have to lick something. I don't no. know. No, <laughs> it's always about licking. Always I'm licking not agreeing eggs. to these terms. <laughs> I was thinking like maybe you, you'd wear an avalanche jersey and you know. Uh, Make a video that's about how you look that. Oh, that now you just want to lick the that's floor. That's soft. Okay. It is a little soft, <laughs> honestly. Soft. By the end of the show, we will have a bet in place for these two okay. for their playoff good. matchup. I like that, actually. I think this is a good place to determine that. Yeah. We, yeah. So, but <laughs> let's start ranking, okay? Yeah, let's do it. I think uh, just in terms of, like, going clockwise, I think, Luca, you're going to kick us off. All right. I'm just going to randomly... Oh. Start with our, our favorite team, the New York Islanders. <laughs> Those 16 overtime and shootout losses have got them here. Okay, negative goal differential. Islanders fans are on their high horse about the media being wrong about them. And Patrick Waugh's turnaround. And look, I'm going to stick you in D. Hey, you're not the worst. It's not I, the worst. Because I, was expe I was expecting worse than D. I think <laughs> there's only one. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they're a little more feisty than Washington, who maybe. Could whoa, be. whoa! Spoiler okay, alert! Spoiler. That's just my opinion, so that's why I'm not putting them in the worst because I predict Washington might be there. Um, but like, they're they're awful offensively. <laughs> Um, their goaltending has kind of been an issue all year long. Where like Sorokin's not the number one right now. It's Varlamov that's kind of carried them into the playoffs in this stretch. Who Patrick Waugh has a lot of uh, a lot of familiarity with him when he coached the Avs. So like. I don't know how short the leash is in the playoffs because we all know how good Sorokin is, but he hasn't been good this year. Noah Dobson's hurt right now, and like that could be um, just his health, even if he does come back in time for game one. That's something to watch. But like offensively, they have just not been good. The power play hasn't been good. The penalty kill is not good with this team. Um, and outside of Barzell, who's had like a great year and finally a point-per-game player, like Brock Nelson, I know he's a 30-goal scorer. He's not scaring me. Kyle Palmieri is not scaring me. Bo Horvat, great chemistry with Barzell, just not not scaring me enough. Kyle Palmieri is one of those guys. It's like 
you kind of just like forget he's still in the oh, league. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know? But he's good. He's going to be a 30-goal scorer. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. nuts. I mean, you can say uh, that about a lot of Islanders players. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. true. But I don't think we're going to have too many arguments with that. No. Uh, yeah. No. I, I think we can move on to our next one. I will randomly select from my pile. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Wow. A hot topic oh. every year in the playoffs. Welcome back, Mark Stone. Uh <laughs> I think I got to go A. Like, I don't wow. think, because again, I think they did struggle a bit in the regular season. I think all year they've been kind of looking to find that magic from last season, call it a Stanley Cup hangover, call it whatever. I don't think they've been as dominant as people expected them to be. But with everything they added at the deadline, with just how good they were already, uh, and then, I don't know, I, I, I can't, I'm, Really trying to stop myself from putting them in the best because, like, when you look at that team on paper, it's scary. But obviously, they got a gel, so it, it's kind of obviously the one thing up in the air for them is can they all kind of work together properly with uh, <laughs> not playing too often together. And as much as as you know, you could say it's hard to go back to back in the NHL. We've been seeing teams going back to back in like the last ten years, right? Like two teams have Pittsburgh, gone back to back. Tampa. So. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be out of the question to see Vegas win again, even though it would drive me freaking crazy if they did. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be in Vegas during some playoff games, so I'm excited to feel the atmosphere there. Been to T-Mobile Arena as well for playoff game last year it was nuts. But anyways, do you think to- Mark Stone's back for game one? Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think maybe to just save face a little bit, they just slot him in there <laughs> too. Take game yeah. one off. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> wild, but I th- I don't think they're gonna save much face by doing that. No arguments for A. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was honestly a little bit surprised by it just because like, they are a wild card team at the end of the day, but if you just look at their past pedigree and what they're adding and, I mean, their deadline additions, I think it's... Yeah, it's, like the they're, wild, they're an A team. The wild card team we've seen is not the same team we're going to see in the for playoffs, sure. and that's why Vegas is so yeah. annoying. <laughs> Are you cowards? Okay, anyways. You're up. The Carolina Hurricanes. Ooh. I don't know. Do I go like this? Do I go like this? What's the right way to show the logo? <laughs> that one. I think that, it's this. Yeah, I think the red this. is on yeah. the right side. Yeah. You know what? Really thinking about that. Uh, one, well, I... well, no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually close. To, I'm, I'm tempted to put them in the best because, wow. but, but I'm not. I'm not going to. I think it's a little too much. I'm going to stick them in A, simply because I think. Uh, compared to past years, Carolina's got. We've always talked about it. They don't have that guy. Like they don't have that the extra offense that's going to put them over the edge. Gensel is has been a machine for them, and he's done it in the playoffs many times. He knows what he's doing, and like Seth Jarvis is just such an X factor. Like his success this year has been so, in my opinion, just big for Carolina in terms of taking their offense to the next level, and. I don't know. They've got a great defense. Freddie Anderson has been one of the best. Who knows what we're going to see in the playoffs? But he's been one of the best goalies in the it's league. So since good. Returned. Yeah. And, and I, I just like. I think Carolina plays New York in the second round. It that is going to be an insane series. So I'm going to take them in A. Uh, yeah. Again, I, I don't think you can argue much with it. They're an unreal team. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's splitting hairs here, but I'm I'm curious the. <laughs> See who we put at the best, because we've yeah. got two good teams in A that both could make cases for. I know. Pac, you're up. All right. We'll go with the first Canadian team. Whoa! The Edmonton Oilers. Wow. I'm struggling with this team a little bit, because part of me feels like I'm going to end up picking them to win the Cup, because Connor McDavid's in his prime. He is such a special player, and when you match his production with Leon Draisaitl's playoff production... So you think 100 sets so is better than 70 goals, eh? I mean, it's more more goal contribution, so <laughs> yeah. a little bit. But anyways, um, but at the same time, Edmonton just feels like one of those teams where 10 days from now, if things head south quickly and we're kind of thinking like, what just happened? Another year of McDavid's prime down the drain. I wouldn't be all that surprised. So they're a team when I look at them, I feel like maybe they have the highest ceiling of any team just because they have that star power. But at the same time, there's this little part of me that really fails to trust them. The ultimate X factor and why I feel that maybe this is the year that they get it done is one, they've gotten the depth scoring has definitely seen an uptick. And also Stuart Skinner. I'm starting to really come around on him as a, as a goaltender. And if you look at their metrics in terms of like goals against and stuff, they've had a solid season. So I think I'm going to throw them an A, although I'm starting to think like, there's so many good teams in the NHL playoffs. So Who's many. going in this beat team? <laughs> because... I would say there has to be a, a margin at some point. That's why I was 
I'm on the border of A and B, but also it's just the ceiling of them. I feel like they can. Connor McDavid is going to win a Stanley but, Cup at but some not point. Even it is that, going like, to happen. Evan Bouchard has been unbelievable yeah. this year, and like, it, is, it, he, is he? Is he like? The only thing about Evan Bouchard is he like a dog that you want in the playoffs? <laughs> is he a dog? <laughs> Back to the dog, dog talk. I don't, I don't. I don't know if Evan Bouchard's like a dog. I'm like, is this guy? But they don't really need him to be because they have like. Um, Matthias Ekholm too. Who's He's like, a dog. That, that guy's a dog. That guy's a dog. <laughs> and that and that allows that allows Bouchard to like be a dog in his own way. But I just like <laughs> He's more of like a thoroughbred. He's like a horse. Yeah, he's a horse. He's a horse. He's a horse. Yeah. So I don't know. Personally, I would stick Edmonton and B simply because as high as their ceiling is, we also know that their floor is like this is a team that could get upset in the first round yep. if if they are not on their toes. I mean, you said about any team, but I feel like specifically with Edmonton. So are you suggesting a vote to vote them down? I, I honestly, I don't have a problem with them going down to B. I was, I really considered it um, when I saw Caroline going A. I'm like, ah, maybe I should throw them in A too, just because like the ceiling of the Oilers. We, we've gone over that, so we need yeah. an official ruling here. Are you voting to put them down to B? Yes, simply because I think there are lots of teams in the playoffs that could be in A, including the Oilers. But I think there needs to be like a little bit of like. Okay, let's let's yeah. see the votes. Does anyone else want to vote them to be? <laughs> You're alone. I, on I that feel one. like I put them in A, so I have to keep them. Yeah. You're gonna leave me be alone, like I'm Stephen. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. All right. Fair enough. Random. The Nashville Predators. Ooh. Wow. So it's kind of a fun one because I know we've talked about it before how they're kind of scary um, as far as the team. You well, they've cooled off they've since cooled we last <laughs> talked about them. Obviously, they were when we last talked about the Predators, they were on the absolute heater of heaters yes. and yeah. got them back into the playoffs. And yes. now it's settled in a bit. Which makes sense. How do you feel? They're a wild card team. I'm going to stick them in C. Um they're kind of like they they're a low B to me, but they just don't have enough scoring, I think. Um, as far as like outside of Philip Forsberg, I know Ryan O'Reilly's great, Gustav Nyquist. That's been their best line all season. But yeah. after that, what do you have? And the playoffs <laughs> is all about line matching and Michael things like McCarran, that. Bro. I know. <laughs> and I'm Luke not saying that like, no back is good. This is great. They've been such great players for this team all season long. That's why they're here. But this team lives and dies with that top line in their production um and i also think like as much as we love roman yossi i'm not saying he's not a dog i think he's a little more of a horse though as well because like he does play a lot in all situations for this team but his defensive <laughs> defensive acumen is is not like a matthias ekholm so yep. to speak right like yep. they carries a lot of the weight of being that offensive defenseman, but I think he's not like a matchup guy. You're not putting him out to shut down another team's top Exactly. Line. So he could get maybe exposed a little, and their goaltending's kind of just been, like, average. Like, Saros is great, and he can get hot, but I think for all those reasons, a C feels better than a B to me. I think if they had a little more scoring, I'd put them in a B. Yeah, and you can say that about so many goalies. Like, pretty much mm -hmm. any goalie can get hot. As as much as we agree, Saros has been a good goalie over the past couple of years, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I... They're, they're, you like this team. I you like, like this Nashville. Team. <laughs> I, and, and especially if Nashville's going through the Pacific too. Like, I, are you proposing another vote? I don't. I'm not going to propose a vote. I will say that I like Nashville, and if, and especially with like with Nashville. If Nashville goes to the Pacific, like I could I could see them winning a couple series. Like I would love to put them right here. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But That's fair. I, I think I gotta just no. Lean and more and, and we have to have like. We can't just have every t all the teams in the same categories. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you want to roll in C, I totally respect that. Okay. Next up. Oh. Wow. The Vancouver Canucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun one. This is a spicy one. I, at the beginning of the year, famously quoted saying they're a terrible team. <laughs> when are you, when are you uh, watching all those Coyotes games? Uh, Canucks yeah, games. I got to watch a lot of Ca Canucks highlights. It's it's. I'm going to do it after the playoffs, I think, because like if they go on to win the Stanley Cup, I'll I'll watch all those too. I'll add those in, you know? <laughs> yep. Yeah, and you have to eat that tile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. One. Lick the Velcro. <laughs> uh, so I'll try to eat a piece of the tile. I don't know how possible yeah. it is, but... <sighs> See, like, I feel like Canucks fans are going to be mad about this, but I don't mean it disrespectfully. I do think that they're a good team, and I think they have a lot of great players, and I do think they actually have the potential to... I think they maybe win their first series. I think they can go a little bit deeper into the playoffs than maybe some people are expecting them to, but I'm still putting them at a B. Mm. I just think... I think it's perfect. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
No push 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 nothing else to say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, oh, I do think one thing that they were like going into this year was supposed to be a big thing that they were going to address was their penalty kill. And I think their penalty kill has not been maybe as good as it looked at the start of the year. Obviously, some of their like save percentage and shooting percentage has come down throughout the year, which obviously has like I think maybe cooled people on them a bit. And I just think even. Elias Patterson like has I feel like cooled down a bit. I feel like he was off yeah. to such a hot start at the beginning of the year, and they'll really need him to be a dominant player if they're gonna actually take over some of these series. So I think obviously they have the potential. We saw them kind of at their peak at the beginning of the year, and if they can get back to that, they can do some damage in the playoffs. But I, I think the consistency isn't there for me to put them in the same category of A as these other teams. Uh, I also think there is something to be said about playoff experience and Vancouver does not have a lot of it and that like as much as cliche as it sounds that's just my take but also between the pipes like if uh just health wise or it's like yeah. are they going to be able to actually go into that strong and, mm-hmm. and like Thatcher Demko was such a massive part of their run yeah they're gonna need him oh yeah all right time to get into my little bag of tricks here oh interesting <laughs> very interesting Every team's interesting, except for like the Islanders and the Caps. Uh, you know what? You, you, <laughs> Shot. You know, you, you, well, I mean, maybe the Caps take a couple games. You know what? <laughs> I think like like the Bruins, obviously they had a good year. I, I just don't really think they're, they're, they're not better than what they were last year. Like they're not. They, yeah. they've been, and, and they didn't really do anything to address the center position. And like Zaka and Coyle have both been good for Obviously, they've had great seasons, but I just don't think they're really strong enough down the middle. I'm looking at Boston. I'm like, this team doesn't really scare me that much, but they're still a good team that could do some damage. I'm going to also put them in a B. I don't really think that they're in that top tier. Like, I don't think they're as stacked as Vegas, although I do think, yeah, I don't know. That That's just my take. I, they don't really instill a lot of fear in me. Um, I'm, I agree with the sentiment. I actually maybe would have voted them down to a C. No. Okay, be careful <laughs> what you're talking about. You got a playoff series to play <laughs> soon. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. They've got some, they've got some dogs, though. You know, like, like, of course. like Marshawn's a dog, McAvoy, dog. Uh, so. <laughs> Pass is a dog. I got Oh, I don't I, know if he's a dog. He's not really a dog. <laughs> I gotta, he's a little puppy. I got to see a little bit more from him, but he does know how to pour a beer properly. And knows how to put the biscuit in the basket. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the dog, I just the doggy treats in the basket. So yeah, I, I think like you said, they they have some clear weaknesses. I think like matching up with some of Toronto's top lines is going to be tough, especially now that they have that like Domi Bertuzzi Matthews line going. And then mm-hmm. if they can stack that second line, that's it's going to be a tough matchup series. So uh, obviously they've got a great decor, so that helps. And, and then, great goalie. Yeah, the Swayman d- difference will be will be a big one. So we'll see. All right, we will end things off with. Go ahead and throw them in the words. The Washington (laughs) Capitals, we are looking at one of the most, I'll call them the most opportunistic teams in NHL history because the goal goal differential, like talk about maximizing your point total in the regular (laughs) season in a unique way. The, the, The goal differential, worse since 1991 of all playoff teams, in one goal games this season, they won 20 games in regulation and they lost just twice. In regulation. That's actually nuts. It's insane. That's now, wild. would you put that down to pure luck, or would you say they're dogs? So, they're dogs. <laughs> when, when, you, when you look at playoffs and their outlook going into a series where they're going to be heavy, heavy underdogs, part of me is kind of like, you know what? They know they how to win, win tough battles. Games. They know how to win low-scoring games, because they don't even have a 70-point player on their team this year. That's wild. And also, their playoffs started two weeks ago. Like, they have been playing must-win hockey for a while now. Going up against a team that has, you know, locked up the President's Trophy. They've kind of had this clear caps, path caps, for a while caps now. And seven. <laughs> I, I, I'm not here to say, and, and I'm not going to be brave enough to go out and say the Washington's going to make this crazy upset. We've seen it before, though. Florida went on a pretty impressive run last year, albeit they had a bit of a different team, and you know they were only a few years away from just being one of the best teams in the NHL, and they had this weird regular season. Washington, I think, clearly belongs in the worst. All I'm saying is you never know in the playoffs, and they've had a sense of urgency that these other teams haven't had for some time now. 
Okay, yeah. Well, that's the kind of first half of these. We're going to go to break now, but uh, we'll be back to do the rest of them. Okay, welcome back. We are on to the second half of the playoff tier list where we are ranking every single playoff team from the best A, B, C, D to the worst. We've already got our the worst. Uh, the Washington Capitals, I think, are pretty unanimous. We'll discuss. We did discuss already, actually. <laughs> it's a little late for discussing on that. Again at the end. Yeah, okay. Well, we still have to get the best. And just as a reminder, there can only be one in each of those categories because you can't be the best multiple times. You know, there's only one the best. And that's our Stanley Cup favorite. And they have yet to be put on the board, I guess, because no one's really even tried to nominate anyone yet. But, uh, Luca, let's kick off the, the next half. Who do you got? LA Kings. Wow, wow, I don't think they're going in the best. They're not going in the best. I'm tempted to put them in A because I really like their team, but I'm going to put them in B uh, for now. Mm. This team has been great all year as far as um, their defensive structure, how they win games. Cam Talbot has the one three been, one. The one three <laughs> one. Like Cam Talbot's been solid. I know there was like that middle of the year where they were just losing every game and fired Todd McClellan, but they've seemed to steady things. And I think in the playoffs where like matchups matter so much, this is probably the team you look at as being like maybe the best equipped for the matchup game in the playoffs with like Phil Deneau, their top three lines are all so great in their own end of the ice and also so dynamic. Um, you brought in Pierre-Luc Dubois. Hopefully the playoffs kind of bring out something new in him, but Kempe, Kopitar, Byfield at a breakout year. Uh, Fiala, Deneau, Trevor Lewis, like... This, Doughty kind of had a bounce back here. Doughty, Mikey Anderson. Like, I, I really like this team. I don't know if they're an A, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them make a run because I feel like they just have all of the kind of they check all the boxes of what a playoff team that wins in the way that they need to win in can do and make some noise. I know earlier in the year you were a goalie doubter, so it like do you feel comfortable with Cam Talbot? Is that I think you have to at this point. Okay. I don't know if it's like comfort, but hey, he's he's proved it more than their previous goaltenders, I think, in the past couple of years. Like Corpus Allo last year was a bit of a disaster. Um but Talbot has been pretty consistent all year long and like goals saved above expected leaders. He's he's been up there all season, so I'll trust him. How about Trevor Moore? Oh yeah. sorry, Ronnie that's Blues what I meant. Legend. I said Trevor Lewis. I yeah, meant yeah. Trevor Moore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I think Trevor Lewis Winnipeg Jets legend. Yeah. Um, but no, he he's he's been he's been fantastic. Um you wanna talk about dogs? You wanna talk about like like the like this big great Dane dog? Andy Kopitar is a dog. Box office. He baby. is a dog. That's a guy I want leading me into into the playoffs. I don't know. I just love him so much. <laughs> I just love him. You I, always I, have. I think honestly, the X factor for this team is going to be POD. Like if yeah. POD can take his game to another level, like and, he's and, been a great playoff player in the past. Yeah, so it, mm-hmm. it would make sense. You know, like again, I know what we, we talked about it before, but him just harassing Austin Matthews when he was on Columbus was. Very annoying. So uh, it's a tough team to play against. Yeah. I wouldn't want to play them in round one, especially yeah. with how they're built down the middle, just with so much depth so at center. Good. That's what wins series more times than not. Yeah. Again, talking about another guy harassing Austin Matthews in the playoffs, Phil Deneau. There you go. Yeah. Also was pretty having a slice idea. of pizza. Too. David knows a thing <laughs> yeah. about Phil Deneau too from the the previous battles the last couple of years. Yeah. That was just always the team. Just like eh, I don't feel great about playing against them. No. Yeah. They're just they're scary. They're big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm up next. With the New York Rangers, the President's Trophy New York Rangers. See, personally, I don't believe in the President's Trophy curse. I know we've talked about this at length, but, like, I got some new stats, too, because, like, President's Trophy, on average, like, the math kind of works out how often they win. And did you know, what about the Hart Trophy curse? You know, a Hart Trophy winner hasn't won the Stanley Cup since 2004? Yep. I'm trying to think who that would have been. I don't want the Hart Trophy winner on my team. <laughs> you don't want if it's not winning since 2004, <laughs> absolutely not. And then, so the one, the, I looked through all the trophies, and like, so the Selkie trophy. Do you want a Selkie trophy winner on your team? Uh, I'm indifferent. Until uh, you find out what I'm about to well, say. Well, the Hart Trophy winner, it makes sense, because Hart Trophy winners are probably paid more than the rest of their team. And then, while they're really good, the rest of their team might not necessarily be as good. They're not that deep, and then Guy they don't win cups. That's why, the, no, that's why I like the Lightning. 
That's why I like, that's, that's why I like the Lightning, because they just get it. Like, cap-wise, they were so good because they didn't have these guys with these Yeah, but they've had contracts. a Hart Trophy winner, and they didn't win with him, okay? Only later did they win. Yeah, when he didn't win the Hart. Yeah, yeah. when he didn't win the Hart. Yeah. Exactly. But it's, either way, I, I actually just think this team's unbelievable. Their special teams is so – like, it's weird. I do think – I get why people sometimes say they're fraudulent, because, like – at five on five, they're not the best team in hockey, but they finish the team or they finish the season as the best team in hockey, and I think that's because they have unbelievable special teams. They got a great goalie, and two they, great goalies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, and then they've just have those star players that can really kind of like take them up a notch. Obviously, the big thing is if Panarin can actually show up in the playoffs this year. He was a bit of a ghost last year and uh, like only finished with two points in the seven game series, two assists, two assists not score. even a goal. Yeah. yeah, very rough. But um, I just I do think they're a very good team. Are they the best though? No, <laughs> they're not the best. They're an A. It's fair. I, I I agree. No no complaints with that. Yeah yeah. Nice. All right, time to get back to the bag of goodies. Wow, your Winnipeg Jets. He's wearing the jersey. <laughs> White out, baby. So big. We get the home win, or we get uh, we get home advantage over uh, Colorado in that first series, which is great because there's just something special about the whiteout. <laughs> Look, I, I tweeted this. You know, trying to be optimistic. Jets were in a very dark place on a six-game losing streak. I said, you know what? Now, Jets are going to turn it around. We're going to go on a serious heater before the playoffs, and then we're going to go on a run. <laughs> Jets have been winning a ton of games lately, and it just seems like everything on the team is starting to click at the right time, and that is so important going into the playoffs. Like it just seems like all of the all of our deadline acquisitions, even Velarde coming back, because like that seemed yep. kind of huge and like- huge. Such a good player, such a gamer. It, it, it's weird for me as a Jets fan. I try not to be too biased, and I tr- I try to not be too optimistic because I look at, you know, for for example, a team like Colorado. I would compare our top players to a team like Colorado's top players, and I'm like, well, I don't know if we necessarily we don't, obviously don't have a McKinnon or even necessarily a Rantanen, but you know what, the, the Jets are as deep as any team in the league. We're one of the deepest teams in the league. We have one of the best. We, we, no, we have the best goalie in hockey. I'm I'm a little concerned about our defense but honestly we've been playing well like Lo- logan stanley is actually been kind of a horse for the jets lately <laughs> not one a those, dog but one, a horse. one of those big horses like a big horse and <laughs> and and i love dylan i love dylan sandberg i just i just think the jets are at more so than any other year since 2018 like we are in a real position to make a run here and if, if we can get good goaltending from hellebuck i actually think the jets can make a run i'm gonna stick the jets in a if you guys, if you guys didn't talk about moving them down, if you want, man, we're moving them. Down. We're moving them down. <laughs> hey, like, like, man, for coming out. Look at the Jets. We seven wins in a row, like, pretty damn impressive. Like they've been winning a ton of games. I do think we're they've looked so good. Deep. We're so deep. Like we're so such crazy a deep team. That, like, what was it last podcast? You were, <laughs> and it, it's so funny how like just perception changes of like you it said can you very go on quickly. a heater, but they were one of the teams on a couple of our lists of like ah you want to play them in the first round. I know now it's like I, and, I don't and, feel and comfortable. Fair, about who said that? In the fair, first, no, no, no. I know that's no, what I mean. In but. fairness, though, we didn't know what was going on with Velarde. Okay, that's like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no, like, but like, how they yeah. were playing as well was a big yeah. part of that. It was like this is the most important time of the year, and we're like we just kind of threw away the division. We had it all year long, but I. I get why they're in A. I honestly wouldn't move them, but if you guys, uh, and, and, and that's another, just coming and, from and, a guy that's well, I guess I'm scared. If, another man. stat, yeah. another stat. You know, everyone like I've had people saying to me, "Oh, people have been wondering if the Jets were even going to take a game off of Colorado in the first round." I just want to, if if, 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 if if my math is correct, Jets are three and zero against the Avalanche this year, outscoring them sixteen to four in those three games against the Avalanche. Like that's. That's a like, that's a statement, and like that seven nothing win was a huge statement, and I just think that, you know, we you guys can move them down if you want, but I think if Edmonton is going to be there, I think Winnipeg could absolutely take it to Edmonton if they played in a series against each other. Like not no question, no question. I think like this is the tough part. Uh, that, like, that's also kind of how we felt is, like right? Edmonton too. I'm just gonna be clear. I'm voting B. I, I'm gonna vote B too. Why? Oh, I just man. don't think you have the top end talent of some of the teams in that. Like you're you're a very deep team. Love the goaltending. 
Special did, teams like, could be an issue, like which is such a massive thing in the playoffs. Like your power play is is. We're humming lately. I'd say <laughs> lately, but like overall on the year, I'd say out of the playoff teams, it's it's close to the bottom of power plays. And I just mean that. I know I do agree that it's like a very well built team. You're very deep, and the goalie thing is amazing. But that's the only thing that would kind of push them down for me. We got to do our vote. You guys know where I stand. I'm voting B. I'm, I'm going to vote B as well. I'll vote B because the Canucks wow. are also in B, and I, I just – I feel like if we're putting, like – I'm not, I'm not going to cry about this. I'm not going to cry about this. I get it. But I, but, no, <laughs> it just I know, it just, I, I that, it just puts a chip on our shoulder. It's yeah. all good. I hope you're watching this, Jets. I, I think this is – it's pretty respectable. Yeah, B, fine. there's some good He's a good ranking, too. yeah. I think you want to be a B team. Pop, yeah. you're up. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Oh. The Florida Panthers, sure. last year's Cinderella run. We want Florida. We want Florida. Guess For what? Sure. This year, you're not coming out of nowhere. This year, the world's watching. Expectations are sky high. Sam Reinhardt has this career year. They have so, so many She's good players. He's going to get paid so much money this summer. A ton of, money. A ton of ten, money. Yeah, I think ten and a half. Also, does anyone else feel that Matthew Kachuk has had like the quietest point per game season ever? And in the playoffs, he's just going to once again become like a top five player in the world? Wait, I don't know. He doesn't have that many goals this year. Did he even hit 30 goals? No. Which is kind of, which is kind of nuts. I did a crazy like Leafs pregame thing on Matthew Kachuk being considered a playoff player versus like Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner and kind of the differences. And one of the big things for him draws the most penalties in the league. Did the, drew, the playoffs? Drew, yeah, drew yeah, the most sense. penalties in the playoffs last year. Also drew the most penalties in the league this year too. Dog, so he's yeah, he is. I, I'd go with a different animal here. I'd actually go. Definition of a rat. Rat. Yeah. rat. He's, he's like a, he's a like a he's like a hybrid. Like half <laughs> rat, half, rat dog instead of cat dog. Rat it's like dog. a like a chihuahua or something. You know the show cat dog. Yes. Rat dog. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, I think the rats are going to be flying in Florida this year. This team ticks all the boxes. Aaron Eckblad's coming back as well. I'm going to throw them an A tier. Um, Bobrovsky as well. Last year, he sort of had this resurgence to be amazing in the playoffs, and he's proven this year that he can continue that form. So I think they belong in A. I got a hot take here. I think the Lightning are going to beat the Panthers in the first round. That's my hot take. I think it's going to be a great series. With that hot take, we're going to go to break. (laughs) Simmer on that one for a bit, and uh, we'll be back to rank the last four teams. The OV stick. (laughs) Welcome back to the Bar Down NHL Playoff Preview Show. Okay, we are ranking all 16 NHL playoff teams. As you can see from our top view of our tier list, we've already ranked 12 teams. There's four remaining. We don't have the best yet. Only one team can be the best. Uh, But obviously, to recap here, we've got the Vegas Golden Knights in A, Carolina Hurricanes, Edmonton Oilers, New York Rangers, Florida Panthers, all A teams. Uh, you can see down at the bottom there, we've got the Washington Capitals at the worst, uh, which was a pretty unanimous decision. The Jets just got bumped down to B. Tough break for him. Jesse's a little rattled. No, it's it. all good. Not going to cry about good. it. People, people have been down this all season, so let's just keep doubting them. But maybe Plus. we're about to hear some of the reasons we're doubting them because Luca is up with the Colorado Avalanche. Man, if you ask Avs fans right now, <laughs> the sky is absolutely falling. Like, they are like, we're losing to the Jets. Like, it's going to be over in four. Like, we look like a disaster. And I'm just like, let, let's just relax a little, okay? Like, this is still, I mean, after the trade deadline and the two weeks after, this was the best team in hockey. You go through stretches like this, obviously you want to go into the playoffs on a heater. That would be great. But this is a team that's won a Stanley Cup. They added a ton of depth at the trade deadline. Every piece is kind of fit in. Um, it's an A for me. It's not the best because of their goaltending. Georgiev has been yeah. has been just so so inconsistent this year. Um, and I and I don't think all of it is on him. I think defensively they've been a little inconsistent as well. Um, Kale McCarr has been really good, but hasn't been I don't think up to the standard that um, we all expect of him. And he holds himself to playoff performer though. He's a Conn Smythe winner. Um, over a point per game in the playoffs or a defenseman, which is nuts. And we all know the McKinnon, Ranton, and numbers in the playoffs. They are tough to stop, and they play a ton of minutes. Like, they are going to play even more in the playoffs than they did the regular season, and they're some of the highest kind of minutes per game for forwards. Um, but their forwards are all healthy. Nachushkin's back. Lekkinen's back. Um, miss, middle stat has looked great. I'm just going to say it. I know you're a scared absent right now. Personally, they're the best to me. I, you you want to talk about dog? Really? Yeah. Is there a bigger dog than Nate Dog? 
I think at this moment in time, the Avs are not the best to me. I agree with They're that. Not. There's one team that I look at that I like a little more. Um, yeah. Or I just think is a little maybe more complete. Man, Fair enough. The, the Jets just, like, I know it's one game, but, like, the Jets just work. I will say. The deserve just, that just happens in the regular season. Yeah, yeah, like, Avs fans have been freaking out. They're like, and then we lost to Vegas and blew a 3 nothing lead. Yeah, it was the second night of a back-to-back going to... Vegas from Colorado after losing seven nothing. Like chill. It's it's one no. game. It's Colorado's, a regular season. Colorado's game. amazing. I think it, definitely an A. They're like, I'm not gonna make a fuss about it. I just, I think the Jets are gonna give the Avs fits in the first round. I think so too. It's gonna be a lot tighter I'm of a sure. series than people expect. Yes. I think this team might be able to break the Hart Trophy curse. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> as as an Avs fan, and I don't want to yeah, be biased well. by just saying like they're the best. I want to at least give an argument to another team. We're gonna have fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay, I am up next with a team that could they be the best? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they could break the Hart Trophy curse. Uh, it doesn't doesn't seem like it, but <laughs> they could break break like a Hart Trophy finalist curse, maybe. But you the Leafs, they could break a curse. I mean, I actually think they've played great in the last like two months. I think pretty much since the trade deadline, they have been a very good team. I think they've played better than they have all season. Um, obviously, there's a couple tough losses near the end here, but I think it's just a team that is very top-heavy, and you're going to need your guys to be your guys. And and I know like the one thing that does give me more optimism for the Leafs, like I said earlier, is that top line now, because I think being able to have Max Domi, Tyler Bertuzzi, and Allison Matthews as a top line really frees up a lot of other skill to go around the lineup, whether they have Nylander third line or they have that second line stacked. Uh, I just think that's like a tough matchup for any team. Obviously, their defense and goaltending, which I think has been kind of their question mark all year, um, especially to me, their defense. I think uh, it's just, I don't know. It's not, it's when you look at like Stanley Cup winning Blue it's nothing right home about. Yeah, it, it's nothing special. I, I think uh, obviously, I'd hope some people. Lilligren's pretty polarizing. I think he's uh, he's a great defenseman. I'd love to see him really step up in the playoffs and play more. Um, but for them, I the reason I initially said I wanted Boston and C is because I do think the Leafs will beat Boston, but I don't think I can put them higher than B. That's fair. I think B is totally fine because. They for sure can be Boston, but in the same breath, I'm saying Boston can for sure be Toronto. Yeah, yeah, and of like, yeah. I don't think one team should necessarily be higher than the other team. Like I think it's kind of just like that series could go to seven, and I wouldn't be surprised if either team won. But I think, yeah, like I think Toronto obviously is very top heavy, but they'll need a lot of things to go their way if they actually want to go to the Stanley Cup, opposed to some of the other teams where they can compensate more in other areas where Toronto can't. So. I think B's, that's exactly what I was thinking, personally. There we go. We got three B's. Pac wants them lower, so speak your mind. <sighs> I, I've just, I've seen this story yeah. so many times <laughs> before. It's like, you know what? There, 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 there's an old you saying. You want to put that with that? No, no, no. What? No, no, listen. Why argue when I can just wait? We'll say that. <laughs> yeah. We'll say that. <laughs> wow. Wow. That, that is a true performance from the Habs fan on the panel. Those so, are fine uh, I, I appreciate it. You know, you got to keep the rivalry alive. But. Jesse. All right. I think I've got our best team, fellas. The Dallas wow. Stars just sticking there right now. Um, you know what? If they end up at the top of this, this is going to be a year. So we did rankings for every single team at the beginning of the year, and Dallas Stars ended up in our top position. I disagreed with it pretty strongly. And I feel like the exact, I'm getting deja vu here. I feel like the Stars are just loaded everywhere on their roster. Uh, the only thing that kind of concerns me is that they don't really have that many high point scores. Like, I don't know when they need goals. I'm a little nervous that, I mean, they have guys that will be able to step up, but I mean, I think Jason Robertson led the, led the team with like only 81 points on yeah, the stars. I, I would say but, though, like, I know he hasn't necessarily had that this year, but in the past he's been yeah. like, mm -hmm. he's I just hit think points like before you want to, yeah, you want to talk about like dogs, like Joe Pavelski's also an absolute dog. 
Hints is going to be so, is going to just be so clutch for these guys in the playoffs. They've got Robertson. Duchesne has been like amazing this year. They've Wyatt got like, Johnson. Why Johnson's Logan unreal? Stankoven. They've also got Heiskanen, who is a dog. Thomas Harley has been Thomas Harley's unreal. been great. And then Tanev. He's a big guy. Tanev's awesome. Like I, I just look at the stars, and if I'm actually looking on paper for me, I'm like, this is this team. This is the best team in the league. Like this is a team that, who knows, will they be able to actually pull it off? No, oh, or, or or maybe sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, sorry. A script. I, no, no. I meant to say. I meant to say. Who, who, who knows? Who knows is what I meant to say. But I just think that I just look at this team everywhere, and I'm like, there's there's no there's there are no weaknesses, and and honestly, is there one weakness? Yes. Even though so far this year, there you know what? Been. It's what? it's so ironic that he's the weakness. Yeah. But like Jake Ottinger has not been Jake Ottinger. At the same Ottinger. time, though, would you be surprised if he just gets hot now in the playoffs? No, no I would not at all. Because exactly. he's not proven that he can do that before. And I feel Absolutely. like as a exactly. young player, too, to show early in your career that you can be at your best in the playoffs. He's like, I remember it. that Calgary series. Yeah. He's just like, oh, he's, he's, unbelievable. He's, he, he, he's done it. He's shown what he can do in the playoffs. I mean, who knows if he'll still be able to. But I, I kind of look... And I, I actually don't think the NHL would like this very much because it, it makes for a pretty boring Stanley Cup final. But I think, like, Stars-Hurricanes is just, would just be, like, a pretty, like... These are two really good, similar, well-rounded teams that could go all the way. Obviously, they need some things to go right for them. But, like, I don't know. I just need more star power than that, you know. Well, that's the thing. Like, I know they're that's they're the both very good teams, but yeah. we we got to get some stars in. Of in course, the but the, but but yeah, I don't know. I feel that's, like that win in the playoffs though a lot of times, just like most. Well, like look at Vegas last year. There's, who's their yeah. star? Yeah, Ikes. Let's table, I guess, this because we're we'll have an ultimate vote of who we want as the best. I know you don't want. Well, you guys there. have already basically said. No, no, no. I I can be swayed. So like, we'll we'll table it, but let's just go to the last team and then. The last team is a team that was the best not too long ago, and that's the oh, Tampa Bay Lightning. I know oh. Jesse is super high on these guys. I and love them. I feel like just on pedigree alone, like they have to be respected. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw them in B, although I feel a little bad. I feel like Nashville's kind of lonely in C, and maybe that's a little bit disrespectful to them. But Tampa Bay is a very, very good team. They can score a ton. Where I worry about them is on the defensive end. No team in the playoffs has allowed more goals against per game than the Tampa Bay Lightning, which is weird because, I mean, you got Andre Vasilevsky in that. But I think losing Sergachev has really, really hurt this team. Um, but, I mean, the power play is amazing. Is, is that going to hurt them a little bit? When Duclair sometimes has been amazing. Duclair has been a great addition. Like, that guy's they have so much firepower up front, and I think – Nick a little Paul, bit of, dog. No, another <laughs> great player. Scored 20 goals this year. I know, man. I love him. Everyone likes to say, like, oh, Kucherov, Kucherov has, like, 60 points more than the, the next guy or, or whatever the number is. But the fact is that – they have five players with more than 70 points this year. So like, they have a scored lot 40, of guys. Stamkos like scored 40 goals. 40 yeah. goals squad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think that's a myth where it's like, oh, Kucherov's carrying his offense. Like, Kucherov's a very, very good player, but down the lineup, they can put the puck in the net. It's on the defensive side of the puck is, is why I don't think that they'll, they're higher and that they'll ultimately struggle a little bit in the playoffs. They're the toughest, in my opinion. They're, they might be like, I, I mean, a, as far as um, wildcard teams go, they're, They've got to be the scariest wildcard team. Oh, or Vegas. I guess, yeah, too. I was going to say. Okay, so we have put down our initial rankings for every single one of our teams. We are going to kind of do a revote and rehash. Everybody will have one suggestion of maybe something to change. But we're going to do that after the break. So we'll see you soon. Welcome back. We are at the end of the Bar Down NHL Playoff Preview Show. We have ranked every single team. We try to discuss maybe teams we would vote into a different category where maybe seeing the whole board, we're like, no, this team belongs somewhere else. We couldn't get the votes for any of them. It's a split decision on most. So we're each going to say one team we think is too high, one team we think is too low, and then we're going to pick our Stanley Cup champions. So, wow, Luca, kick us off. All right, team too high. I think, honestly, maybe the Boston Bruins, which is crazy to say. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I just I, – and maybe it's just like I just don't think it's their year. But I still think, like, when you look at the teams they're with, like, I, I get why they're there. Um, a team too low? Ooh, this is tough. It's got to be a B team because I, I don't think there's another team to be in the best. I've always loved the Leafs as far as, like, their high-end talent. So, like, clip that. I've always loved the Leafs. i always as far loved as, the Leafs. As far Clint as it. the ceiling Clint of any of Leafs. these teams go, this team is, and this team as well, ceiling-wise, because of the talent they have up front, 
like they could be in A because of that, but I understand why they're in B. So I'm not going to like be up in arms about it. Okay, uh, I think my teams are probably going to be just because I think personally. I got Colorado at that, my top of best teams, uh, so I'd probably have them too low. And then I think too high, I'd probably go, like, I, I'm just going to, like, shotgun shoot this because I got a couple teams. I'm going to go Florida, Boston, Tampa, L.A. I would maybe move all of them. Oh, one. wow. Interesting. Okay. It's a lot of teams. Yeah, you should, <laughs> you should really shotgun to that. I'm curious, though. Like, I mean, I get it with Colorado. Like, they won two years ago, but why, why are you so much higher on them than, than some of the other teams? Top-tier talent. I think, yeah. like, like so <laughs> only only than Dallas, I just think their top-tier players are better, and I think they're pretty similar in every other category. But they had the top-tier talent last year, and they lost the Kraken in the first they, round. Ah, uh, they didn't, A little burnt though. out, I think. Their depth last year was horrible. So, Jess, too high, too low? The only team that I actually felt was a little too high when we were going through the, the list was, I get it with the Oilers, but I'll kind of believe it more when I see it with the Oilers. So I would move them down to a B, and I would, like, I don't know. As a first-round exit, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they lost, or at least in the second round. But given how, they, you know, they have high expectations, I just feel like they don't really meet them. And then, as far as who's too low, I mean, you guys know how I feel about the Jets, because uh, I just think that the Jets are such a deep team this year and have a lot of potential. Yeah, that's fair. Look, but but another team. Look, I get why they're in B, and I, I'm not opposed to them being in B. But I see this team playing against this team in the first round, and I definitely see this team winning in the first round. Definitely. I, no, 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 like. I'm not saying it's for sure going to happen. I just, I, I just could yeah. see it more so than a lot of the other first round series. I just think they, they will match up against Florida extremely well. And if it's a big if, they can get the goaltending from Vasilevsky, which is not out of the question. I think there's no reason why they can't beat Florida. Okay, Pac. All right, I think too low. I think the Boston Bruins are too low. I, 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 I just think that. Every time we need to rank a team, whether it's before the regular season starts or whether it's before the playoffs starts, we love to look at the holes in their roster, and then when the puck drops, it just doesn't matter. The puck drops, they just start playing amazing hockey, they win games, and we say, oh, they're actually, you know, they're overachieving or whatever you want to call it, but this team just knows how to win. And then too low, or sorry, too high, I think if I speak, I'll, uh, I'll be in trouble, but uh, <laughs> essentially I'm, I'm fading Luca. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, <laughs> now let's go quickly. Just say you're Stanley Cup champion. No explanation. You don't need it. Uh, go. Abs over Leafs. Wow. I predicted every year. It never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Leafs over Abs. If not the Jets, I'm going to go Stars over the Hurricanes. I'm going to go Oilers defeating the Panthers. Make there you go. Win. That is your NHL playoff preview. Uh, hopefully now you just know everything. Go Jets. <laughs>